So, if you guys survived the wind apocalypse, don't forget, my Vegas is still a thing. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. And welcome back, Spinders and Sharks, to Ace of Vegas. Ace here, and today we're actually going to tackle yet another version of the Frisky Fortunes game. This one's the nitpick variant. I have absolutely no idea what the difference is, but I have something really that I'm really, really excited about, and I want to talk to you guys about that instead. So right now we're just going to go ahead and select our bet. I selected 1.2 million chips, so that's a million two hundred thousand chips, and we're going to go ahead and put that through the machine about a hundred times as usual, meaning we'll be risking a sum total of 120 million chips and you guys know what we're gonna do we're gonna put 100 spins on that clock and let's count it down three two one makes a note oh, wait hey no no that's an naruto theme song let me try this one more time on your market set ready and go okay guys so a few guys didn't check out saturday's video there is a win apocalypse right now it actually i you know i i actually pushed back my uh buffet video unfortunately i think some folks were really kind of looking forward to watching that one and just to accommodate the wind apocalypse i had to push that one back especially since buffets those are usually pretty topical things also it gave me a chance to kind of clean up some special effects that i didn't like to so i suppose there's a win-win right there uh no pun intended with the win-win because you know what Anyway, you guys know what I'm about. That aside now, gonna have to figure out a new strategy to break the old win slots right there, but I'm pretty sure I got a little something up my sleeve for Steve, uh, just in case you guys didn't know, because your boy, Ace of Vegas, is the Game King, the Dark Knight of Domino City, and I am ready to Yu-Gi-Oh all over uh, the strip, so. I got things covered. In the meantime though, I wanted to talk to you guys about an upcoming trip I have in November. Took a couple days off, mainly because I maxed out on PTO and I need to use that stuff before I lose it before at the end of the year. Um, and I actually got a proposition from another travel vlogger. No, not like that. I heard what you thought, Comsky, if you're watching this episode. Uh, no, no, I actually got a proposition from a, another travel vlogger who happens to be in town a couple of those days. So so I decided to go ahead and plan a little trip there, um, and I've got the got the tickets already. I just haven't decided where I'm gonna stay here, so I wanted to leave it up to you guys. I wanted to use some two night comps, and right now hotels I haven't actively featured on this channel include MGM Grand, the Bellagio the Vidara, and the Aria. So I wasn't sure which one you guys wanted me to pick. Um, I'm really not super hyped about picking Bellagio myself because that's a, it's a good spot for a romantic holiday and I think it's a little overrated for what you get out of it. I like the art gallery and I love going to the Gallery of Fine Art there. I think it, a lot of the pieces are spectacular. Uh, I'm no artist, but I definitely know what I like and I enjoyed it last time we went. Um, in fact, we went to the Samurai exhibit last time we visited uh, the Bellagio and we also went to the Botanical Garden, so regardless, I'll make sure I stop uh, over at the Botanical Gardens to check out the fall, uh, the fall decor, and I'll post that video up too, and then I'll make sure that we go in the winter time too, because as you guys know, Wendy and I also have a Christmas weekend trip planned too. So we'll make sure that we get those uh, taken care of, and we'll burn some loyalty points on that, and then you guys can enjoy that as well. Now, while we're on the subject of burning loyalty points though, so Bellagio's kind of at the bottom of my list. I'll let you, uh, you know what? Sought it. I'm not going to pick it. I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and comment in the comment section down below. Tell me which hotel I get to stay at. Do I get to stay at the Bellagio? Do I get to stay at the uh, Aria? Do I get to stay at the Vidara? Or am I staying at MGM Grand? I will let you guys pick. Um, I know MGM Grand's the cheapest reward, but honestly, you guys know I got like, 1.7 million loyalty points. I can make up those loyalty points in a day on blackjack. You guys know me. I can definitely handle that. So you guys get to pick which uh, hotel that we feature and choose. There are a couple benefits to each hotel. So as you know, MGM Grand, they've got the best pool on the strip, I think, hands down personally. Um, it's either them or Mandalay Bay. They've got some really amazing pool areas, uh, really fun. You got the giant lazy river. You got nine other bloody pools out there. They're quite amazing. Uh, oh, look at this. We got our first nitpick 
pick bonus about time so now i get to pick yarn all right so it looks like there's a yarn value that we have to establish um which way do we go about things i think we should use the tic-tac-toe method we'll go this way 1.5 million and i guess we get to keep picking nice um i'm assuming they block us here so let's go this way 150k and i'm guessing they'll block so how about this way 750k let's get across 4.5 million oh wow does it keep going oh wait we start the bonus now i should have kept going oh man i could have got that times five okay cool but it looks like the yarn is going to be worth a little something and i got eight free spins so let's go let's go check out these free spins see what we get i wonder what the yarn does each yarn is worth okay 9.4 million so that's one one yarn here that's a big win we got a couple more spins that's no yarn on that one there that's no yarn on that one there oh there's another yarn another ball of yarn right there spin another yarn hardcore that's just racking up oh another ball of yarn okay let's go let's go gonna have myself a sweater of chips at the end of this that is so lame why do you guys let me say things like that oh there were two of them 18.9 million nice okay we're uh, getting closer to the green all right all right all right and now we're back into the game so now that we're back on uh, back on track back to the main subject here uh, so MGM Grand I think their best uh, features the pool definitely now I'll make sure I get some karaoke in but I'll, uh, that's another good feature I'm not sure if that's open in November though and that's gonna be a uh, pre Thanksgiving trip so just so you guys know It'll be a good time, and I'm going to do a crossover episode while I'm down there with a, uh, well, the YouTuber who I'm going to be working with, it's going to be a surprise. No, it's not Jacob Orth, if you guys are wondering, and probably not say hi to Matthew either. I don't think I have the type of clout to bring those guys down uh, to my level to go ahead and slum it with me, but I have someone that's a, a little closer uh, to my level that I... Uh, been working with for a while now, and I'm also uh, also in Facebook groups with them. Uh, they're a pretty uh, pretty cool team right there, and I'm very much looking forward to working with them in person. So trying to set my game up to be on their level. So that'll be pretty dope. Can't wait for that. Uh, Bellagio obviously has got the fountains and all that we talked about. Bellagio Aria is just so fresh and it's so clean too. It's got the newest casino on the strip. It's one of the nicer ones. It's got the probably the strongest MGM buffet in my personal opinion. Whether you believe me or not, it's a whole nother can of worms right there. And you absolutely don't have to believe me on that. If you don't like uh, their buffet, you don't like their buffet. Uh, and that's cool, but if you do, you do. Awesome. What in the space? Why did my bet drop down? Well, no wonder it, uh, yeah, everything changed. Did you guys see that our bet dropped down after, uh, we got that bonus? I wonder why that is. Definitely gonna have to research that, but, okay, this will be our last spin. And that is, why didn't that go off? Oh, man, I am so confused now. Anyway, well, now that we, uh, finished the spins, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break. We're gonna do some maths, and we'll, uh, count up the booty. All right, folks, so after doing some adjusted maths here, it looks like accounting for the massive drop in chips that I invested these last couple go-arounds, I've accounted for about an 85.32% payback. I don't know precisely when I dropped off, um, so I did some did some quick math, so I estimated about where it dropped off after the uh, after the bonus there. I know about where I stopped counting my spins there, and I shouldn't really do all this math in my head here, but I did, and it came out to 85.32% payback. So not bad, not good, and no idea why it dropped that uh, dropped that last time. I had a comment to that. I mentioned it last time and I hadn't noticed it until I rewatched the video towards the end and I was like huh I didn't notice that the bet dropped like that it dropped down to half so maybe we're just winning too hard and that's why they're trying to slow us down and offer us all these chips over here uh, but in the meantime though guys I wanted to go ahead and ask you one more time do we go with which hotel do we go with we can go ahead and go with MGM Grand up here with its awesome pool its fun karaoke bar at the level up bar which is always a good time we can go over to Bellagio known for its iconic fountains its fine art gallery and the fact that it's a little more expensive than it deserves to be right now but good stuff uh, we can go down here to Aria, which is the Jewel of City Center, also known for the Jewel Nightclub, and it's definitely got the strongest uh, buffet in MGM's uh, proto 
<clears throat> in MGM's, <laughs> what did I call it, portfolio, if you ask me. So just putting that out there there. Or do we want to go to Vidara where we'll have access to all the Aria amenities, but it's going to be kind of like signature at MGM Grand where we're going to be slightly off strip. It's going to be an extra walk and uh, there's no casino on site, but we have everything that Aria offers and more. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Which hotel are we going to for the pre Thanksgiving hangout? So until next time, my spinners and sharks, this is Ace of Vegas signing out. Wishing you strong hands, happy spinning, and please pick a nice hotel for me. I'd like to be comfortable.